this is a video explaining some of the field trial standards that you would need to to be looking at to aspire to enter field trials and to hopefully win them watch this bitch come and turn and flush the bird goes against the fence tell her to leave and cast her off in the same direction and look how she continues to hunt close to me doesn't pull off and doesn't run off towards the bird then I cast this bitch now up into this bit of brush she flushes the bird sits beautifully bird is shot and down and you notice I take my time I break the gun one left hand cast bitch goes out straight out and picks and it was always really important to have someone there to help you look at this the birds plucking in front of her eyes she can't see me but she doesn't let the bird go down doesn't drop the bird and we're going in different types of cover now you see some birds get up now a bird gets shot way out to the left you see I take my time I break the gun the dog is fixated with the BG marker drill. I give her the get out command, and it's a good 30, 40 yards out and picks a bird. And again, delivers back to hand. And we're just going to check this bird as well now when it comes in with the delivery. I'm just checking which side I shot the bird on, just showing that the wing is broken, and then checking the ribs. This is one of our young cockers now, flushed a bird, shot a bird way up in front. And again we talk about ground treatment for field trials, look how this cocker's got her head down, glued to the floor, underneath all the cover. Great work, work rate, speed, pace, power. And this is like a proper rough shoot today but with, you know, my champion line spaniels. Bird gets shot, up in front to the left. We just take our time, break the gun. It's all about patience and being calm, relaxed. We send the dog back, left hand cast. It was an unmarked bird because two birds got up then at that time. And again, delivers back to hand, even with people right there. This could be competitors, this could be game carriers, stewards, judges at a trial, and your dog has to come back through those people, especially at the championships. I think we now find a rabbit off the dog's nose and notice how relaxed I am when I'm walking. Rabbit gets up, shot. Okay, we continue hunting on. This is a really good example of me not being able to get into this cover but standing on the edge of the cover with a judge. And the dog is absolutely thrashing the cover with speed and pace and power but it's not going anywhere. It's staying within shooting gun range which is exactly what we want as a competitor and exactly what the judge is looking for. Mm -hmm. There's no point in the dog pulling off miles in front so we can't shoot the bird. Another bird gets flushed and shot way up in front. The dog is then sent and again delivers back to hand. Slightly loses me but comes back, holds on to the bird and a nice delivery. All these things we're looking for when we're judging. A dog that's at one with the handler Hunting with pace and power but has great control. Loose bird gets up there to the right, the dog honours it. Leave, pip and cast off again the left hand cast. Again look at the speed and pace she's got, get under the cover. She's going to find the bird now on her left hand side, turns, indicates it to the gun, bang, shot. The gun dog app takes you through step by step process on how to achieve these results. How I won with Fatty, two championship wins. How I've won with multiple dogs, how I've made champions up, all the systems that I've used throughout decades of experience teaching you to walk behind a dog, this control, this relax, with a dog going as fast as this, giving you every opportunity to win a field trial.